What is up, Madden 25 gamers? In this Madden 25 defensive tip, we are going to be taking a look at our base zone defense and our Madden 25 4-3 stack defensive guide. Okay, guys, 4-3 stack defense, one of the things that is very, uh, what I like to do with this is run more of a, a Tampa 2 style. So, cover 2 sinks is going to be my base zone. Uh, I like to base a line, spread my line, spread my linebackers. And then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to drop my middle linebacker into a deep blue zone. I'm going to shade my coverage out. And then just like in 2 men under, Drop Solali in a hook zone, and drop Starks in a spy, and then I like to put, make sure I like to re-blitz re Wake. Um, that's very important. Now this is just a zone coverage defense, and it's going to take away a lot of those popular out routes and and uh, corner routes that a lot of people like to do. Uh, again, this is our base zone, and you can make adjustments to it wherever you say, wherever you think you need it. Uh, one thing that the cover you think is tender against is sometimes the the vertical pattern, uh, like the slant. So we'll maybe drop another extra hook zones. So maybe something like this: five hook zones over the middle, Y Y cushion coverage, so they can't go streak. And this is just going to be a V. Uh, just like a diamond over the middle of the field. Force a bad throw. There Jones gets a pick. That's the idea. Zone coverage looks identical to the man coverage. We're going to use this base zone coverage to uh, prevent our opponent from just uh, snap throw. Remember, we call these plays base zone and base man. We call both of them. We call them in um, the, uh, shoot, what situation was it? Second and one. Second and one situations where we like to call this. Um, not just second and one, second and short, second down. Typically second down in general, but more specifically second and like five or less. That's where we call this play.